Long before the arrival of the internet and mobile phones, writing was formal. There was no room for typos or improper grammar in formal writing. Until the early part of the last century, before the internet, mobile phones, and other forms of technology, there was little reason to use informal language. But when the internet arrived and mobile phones became mainstream, informal writing took off. From blogging to messaging, to social media, to video recording, technologies have changed our lives for the better. It's hard to imagine how we lived before email let us type on an iPhone, or before YouTube showed us how to replace our broken vacuum cleaner. We can now reach thousands of people at the swipe of a finger with little effort. To write our messages, we adopted a style of language that was more conversational. This took advantage of the special aspect of WhatsApp messaging. It's raw, unpolished, and most importantly, completely honest. The informal style is best for capturing people's attention with helpful tips and must-have deals. Linguists have been trying to account for the variations in the English language since the 19th century. Technology has taken the language study world by storm. In the past, linguists had a limited amount of data to work with, recordings of isolated conversations that could only be analyzed after the fact. Today, technology lets researchers analyze social media or text message archives in real time, or detect subtle linguistic differences between two subjects who are speaking in different environments. The internet is a giant melting pot of social interactions and relationships. You can meet new people, talk with old friends, and engage in communities with your fellow enthusiasts. Forums and message boards let you connect with like-minded individuals, chat rooms let you meet total strangers, and social networks let you stay in touch with all of your real-life friends. As a result, it has become a hub of informal languages. Nowadays, we use chat-like conversations with our friends to communicate. When someone writes something, instead of ending the sentence with a period, they often use a new message to keep the conversation going. Over time, people began to think that using a period at the end meant that they were being passive-aggressive or even angry. Emojis and capital letters are just two of many ways we use to communicate online. Why? Because in real life, we express ourselves by speaking louder, faster, or at a higher pitch. Sometimes we shout. In written words, we use capitals to make sure readers know when they should shout too. The internet has allowed us to express ourselves in an incredible number of ways. It all depends on the kind of person you are. Although emoji gained popularity in Asian countries in the 1990s, they became popular around the world in the 2010 seconds, when Apple and Android phones started supporting them. At first, there were 608 emojis, now there are over 2800 on most mobile phones. How did emojis become so popular? It comes as a result of the ease with which they allow us to express emotions. Emojis have become a standard part of our everyday lives. From the workplace to the classroom, no one can deny their importance or usefulness. By bringing a bit of our physical world into our digital world, emoji help us better express ourselves and say exactly what we mean.